we've got Roly Romero and Pitbull Cruz uh, break that bout down uh, with the with the main event being Tim Zhu and uh, Keith Thurman, somebody that you know well. Yeah, I mean, I I love the the main event. Um, I love the car, top to bottom. Um, I love PBC being on, on Amazon. You know, I, I do. I think that uh, PBC is, is coming into another age, and uh, it's really exciting to see. Um, the funny you picked that fight specifically because it's kind of like we kind of know what we know about both guys. Pitbull can't move his feet. He's, he, he has to be close to you, arm's distance, in order for him to punch and, and rip off. But every punch that he throws has power. I'm really wondering, like, what is the game plan going to be for Roley and his team? This is what we did see against Tank. We saw that they game plan. They they came to the ring ready to do something, and they and they were effective for a couple of rounds. You know, so we know that uh, Roley will buy into a concept and uh, and and try to utilize that con that concept and execute. Um, but we also know that Roley doesn't have a chin. I think we so we saw. We, we, we saw it against Tank. That's one thing. That's Tank Davis. But then when you see another guy come back and, you know, the older gentleman, Barros, um, and even though a lot of those shots didn't put him down, they, you know, the few shots that he did get touched with, he was, you know, his legs were a little stanky and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I think I, I feel like it's going to be Pitbull's fight because Pitbull, we, we know he's got a chin. We know he got a hard head and we know he ain't going to stop. You know, so what is Roly going to really be able to do to keep him off of? We'll can see. I can I just get one last one? Shout, yeah. out, just, um, Shout out to the Puerto Rican podcast. Perfect. Thank oh, you. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that as well. But just quickly. Uh, we can Tyson walk and Fury. talk if y'all want. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, to, then, then we can just go. Yeah, all yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, Tyson Fury, you know, obviously you, you saw got cut. You know, as a, as a fighter yeah. who's sustained cuts before, is that realistically enough time to get sparring, you know, get going again? And you know what I mean? But, yeah. So with that, um... This is what we would do. And, you know, this is how we've done it in the past. We had an injury and we we got out of this sparring and we went, everything was conditioning. Conditioning, conditioning, strength, strength, strength. Let's make sure we're ready on all fronts. Because why? We have enough experience in this game. We don't need to punch somebody to find out what punches work, what punches don't. We already know that part, you know. So where at this level, the sparring is not as essential as, as most would think. However, when you are a big guy that's used to bigger, slower guys, you got a, a slightly smaller guy, but faster coming at you, you do need to see some semblance of that speed before the fight. So what do you, do you think maybe it was enough kind of this sparring? Uh, I mean, the camp was almost done, right? We're like a week yeah, out. Yeah, the camp, yeah. So, oh, I mean, uh, was, was, was that the question? Was the question like, no, he, no, the, 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 the question was the, the, is the cut have enough time to heal? But what you just said about getting the kind of smaller look, yeah. do you think maybe he got it enough to where now the second camp, uh, he's yeah, fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you got to, I know they already announced a, a uh, we got to keep rolling. I was going to say, I don't yeah. know where. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, I have no clue where the hell we are. I think you're right. So you're trying to exit the casino. Yeah, yeah. yeah this way. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I think, you, you, are you mean going into this next fight? Right, is this it next time? Camp. Yeah. Like, like you were saying, is yeah. that he's probably seen enough that he's fine. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I would venture to say he's seen enough that he's fine, but you got to you gotta also uh, realize, like, hey, we're going to protect his eye, you know, and, and but we got to get the blood boiling. Um, in the ring sparring, you know, so th they'll be able to spar. Um, the sparring may happen much later in the camp. That's how it was for me when I had my, my situation. We, we ended up sparring uh, kind of hard the last, like, two weeks before the fight, and it was enough. You know, we, we, we made sure the conditioning, all that kind of stuff was there. And then from there, man, it's, when you get to this level, man, the, the physical attributes, they're all there. You know, it's, it's, this right here is where, the, where, where it separates that separates it all. Speaking of the mind separating from other fighters, uh, Keith Thurman, Tim Zhu. Keith Thurman opens up as an eight to one underdog yeah. versus Tim Zhu. What do you yeah. think about that? Is that a little high? Well, I mean, I don't know the betting odds and things like that, but you know, I, you what you do is you look at what Tim Zhu has done in just one year, three fights in one year, which you know at this level you don't see very often. Um, and then the other part about that is you see the inactivity of, uh, you see the inactivity of Keith Thurman. And, uh, you know, you, you, you play the numbers on based on that. I don't look at that. 
I look at styles making fights and you know, I know whose style I know whose style is superior, you know what I mean? So And whose style not, do you think is superior? I think the feet. I think the feet and, and the thing that, that, that people have forgotten about is the power of Keith Thurman. They all what did they say? And I don't care how old you get or or, or, or whatever the case may be. I know you if I don't know if you guys saw um going this way, I don't know if you guys saw uh Pro Box TV, we with Paulie and me and Chris, we're all talking about the fight, and Paulie came and brought up a great point. You'll be in camp as an older fighter. You're in camp, and you just wake up and be like, I don't feel like doing this. And that mindset will straight up just you. set in, and it will destroy, destroy you. you. And But at the end of the day, man, the last thing to go is the power. That's what they always say. Really? And so I think you got you to gotta keep that, like he said on stage, man, if anything, I'm fresh. I'm, I've been out, but I've been preserving myself. I, am, I may may have or may not have wanted to stay out this long, but at the end of the day, I have preserved myself. And on top of that, the last thing to go is the power. So. Well, since you said that, we watched Terrell Gachet. We watched Terrell Gachet drop uh, Tim Zhu. Uh, early in the fight. It wasn't the first the round, was it? Early in the fight. It was early, maybe first three rounds, yeah. somewhere around that yeah. area. Yeah, but my point is, Terrell Gachet's power, not like... Keith Thurman's power at all. Yeah. Um, and, you know, sometimes it, you, 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 you're you not as comfortable early in the fight. I think, if anything, the longer the fight goes, it may play into the hands of Tim Zhu. We know Tim doesn't usually slow down. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I, I just think that, you know, the things that we know about both guys, we know that we got a, a fighter that will uh, be really patient or come or come straight at you. And that's Tim Zhu, and then you got another fighter that's always patient and is gonna wait for the with the right shots at the right time. Doesn't really waste energy outside of the movement that he uses, and that's Keith Thurman. But the movement sets up the punches, sets up the power. The end of the day, what you can say about Keith is, who has caught him? And if you look at, at uh, the few times that he's been hit to the body, all right, cool. But those didn't don't, that didn't stop him from doing what he needed to do. You look at Manny putting him down in the first round. Okay, cool. But the fight he went on and fought the whole fight, you know? Who can truly catch Keith, you know? So, we'll see, man. I, I think it's gonna be a super, super fun fight to watch. Though. Thank you, Sean, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Keep holding it up just in case. Watch so I was, like, podcast, I was like, I was like, damn, we should've kept, we should've just walked out because y'all keeping everybody off me right now. <laughs> I, I can just say, I'm, I'm working, I'm working, you know? Keep everybody, yeah, y'all yeah, ain't got nothing so else much. to talk about? Y'all wanna talk about Super Bowl? No, nobody wanna talk about the Super Bowl. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.